Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Helen from the International Marketing Department. I'm delighted to have you all with us today as we explore ICP Dust Water Resource Management Solutions. We all need water to sustain our lives, to run industrial activities, to grow crops and plants, and to encourage tourism. After this webinar, I'm sure you will be surprised that ICP dust products have been used in so many applications, from the upstream dam all the way to the downstream wastewater treatment system. The possibilities are manifold. I will start this session by briefly going through extreme weather events that have happened in recent months and how floods affect water resource management in different cases. And then we will move to the highlights of today's webinar, eight case studies, and then conclude the webinar with a summary. Floods, droughts, heat waves, wildfires, we are either witnessing these extreme weather events or getting informed with breaking news early in the morning when you are about to make a coffee. In September, New York City just had its record-breaking rain in 140 years, overwhelming the city's sewer system and flooding streets roadways and subways. In October, storm Babbitt hit England and North Europe, causing unprecedented flooding and severe risk to life. In Asia, Japan, China, South Korea, India and Taiwan also faced similar situations this year. Thousands of people were forced to be evacuated from their homes. From the cases I have mentioned earlier, we can understand why water resources management is important to us. Climate change worsens floods, and it brings disasters such as river flooding, floods in populous cities, underpasses, or areas affected by land subsidence. Poor maintenance of dams might lead to dam failures, which can cause catastrophic flooding and results. Besides, flooding can lead to water contamination and the spread of diseases, and improper wastewater treatment can also result in river or seawater pollution, which affects the entire water cycle. Therefore, Governments worldwide are putting in long-term efforts to combat disasters. Let's take a look at what ICP dust products are used to achieve sustainable water resource management. This is an illustration showing water flow from the upstream dams, rivers, and streams, and then to the midstream and downstream water purification plant, city, factory, and wastewater treatment system. ICP dust product series assist in data transmission and monitoring and control of various field equipment and devices. Firstly, I would like to focus on the dam and reservoir gauge monitoring system upgrade at the top of the picture. The Taki Dam in Taiwan was built in 1974, and the data processing PC in the control center communicates with the main controller in the field by point-to-point -point connections. The report generation is time-consuming and inefficient. Hence, 
ICP does provides automation products and co-creates a remote gauge monitoring and control system. In this case, ICP does not only offers programmable automation controllers pack, pack I/O modules, RS4A5 I/O modules, and multimedia card MMC modules, but also Ethernet switches. And these products have been deployed for about 20 years and are still operating smoothly. Here is a more detailed overview of the system architecture. We have I8837 PEG1 and PEG2, which act as the main controller, connecting to Carson CM1 modules. The Carson CM1 modules then connect to gadgets. In total, PEG1 connects to 252 gadgets. For PEG2, it connects to Carson CM1 modules too, but has an addition of I70160 RS485 IO modules. Let's take a closer look at the PEG1. It consists of I8073 multimedia card MMC module to receive data from the I8017H voltage or current input module and Carson CM1 modules, which are installed in the I87K9 IO expansion unit, and then send the data to the database. This is a zoom-in picture of the field devices. The whole system monitors data obtained from the technical, environmental, and structural instruments. For PAC2, I70160 is a strain gauge input module. It converts signals obtained from inclinometers and transmits data to the main controller. In total, PAC2 connects to 247 gauges, including 37 inclinometers. How do we send the raw data to the control center then? We use ICP DAS NS115F Ethernet switch with the fiber board. The data is sent from the field to the SQL Server database and then to the control center via intranet or internet. What's more, our pack is equipped with a real time clock, providing the time of data measured. Moreover, in the event of storms, floods, or earthquakes, the main controller PEG1 and PEG2 can read data from the master to carry out real-time monitoring. Lastly, the software in the control room generates graphs illustrating water level, temperature, and rainfall measurement as well as plots of inclinometer data for analysis. The system allows the personnel to keep a constant eye on dam conditions. Because this case was completed a long time ago, so many modules used are now end-of-life products. We have a substitute suggestion in this slide for your reference. So, please look through if you are interested in this gauge monitoring system upgrade for dams. Next, how about we build an emergency alert and evacuation system to ensure the safety of visitors and residents nearby? ICP Dust IoT system offers great flexibility and the function of edge computing. By taking pumping stations scattered all around the upstream, midstream, and downstream near the dam as installation points, we can deploy WISE 5231 4GE edge controllers to collect various data on rivers and reservoirs. The data will then be sent to the control center via 4G. 
In addition, you can also install DLW1000 mini weather stations at each pumping station to detect weather changes in advance. This enables the command center to activate emergency alerts and inform residents or visitors to evacuate in time before the onset of flash floods. The system achieves the goal of flood preparedness and response. Next, water flows from dams into rivers. So let's see how we can monitor and prevent river floods. The answer is we can control the sluice gate. Sluice is an artificial channel for carrying water with an opening at one end to control water flow. Now, let's make this case study more understandable and interesting. On the right, we can see that the dam connects to a river with three tributaries, one adjacent to a residential area, one near tourist attractions and hotels, and one in the suburbs. When heavy rainfall occurs, a specific sluice gate is open to release reservoir water to the suburbs. This prevents river flooding in populous places such as residential areas and tourist destinations. To control the sluice gate, SCP does Windows Pack XP 8731WES7 is used as a controller. It combines the functions of HMI, data acquisition and control. And it also features I.O. slots for local I.O. expansion of our I8K and I87K series. The I.O. modules connect to various measuring instruments, including gauges for gate opening degree measurement, water level measurement, flow measurement and water pressure measurement. Together with an Ethernet switch, the data obtained can be sent to the control center for real-time data monitoring. Another benefit is that the personnel can monitor and control the sluice gate remotely. The whole system efficiently realizes flood prevention. To further reinforce the safety of the personnel and elevate the efficiency of the monitoring system, ICP does surveillance and monitoring solution answers the needs. By installing our ICAN series IP camera and WISE Intelligent Edge controller on site, the personnel can now easily view on site photos and video files on the web browser to check the surroundings and if the sluice gates are open or closed. This helps reduce the risk of personnel needing to manually control or check the gates in the event of heavy rainfall and the release of reservoir water. What are the strengths of ICP dust wise and ICANN surveillance solution? WISE has the capability to enable bidirectional communication between I.O. modules and the cameras. Users can set the if-then-else logic rules to automatically activate on-site cameras to take snapshots and record videos. This not only significantly reduces memory required, but also establishes correlations between capture images and videos and I.O. events such as gate openings and water levels, making it easier to retrieve information. Furthermore, the capture images and videos can be instantly sent to the right personnel's mobile applications such as LIME and WeChat allowing them to keep abreast of the on-site situations in real time. Since floods are intensifying and becoming an urgent issue with global warming, 
A warning system, including our alarm siren modules, should be installed along downstream rivers to get visitors evacuated immediately, especially at rivers where recreational activities take place. Further down, the water flows from rivers into the water purification plant. The Xinshan Water Purification Plant is located in the northeastern part of Taiwan. Since the water of this plant is primarily used for domestic consumption, it must meet drinking water quality standards. Therefore, the plant adopted ICB Dasma water monitoring solution for water quality monitoring and equipment monitoring and control. Have you ever seen how a water purification plant works? The water goes through several processes such as coagulation, sedimentation, filtration, and disinfection before being sent to households. Let's take a closer look at the highlighted part in yellow, as we will be discussing equipment control of this part later. Coagulant chemicals are added to water, making non settling particles into heavier solids. The water that contains heavier solids will flow into a sedimentation tank, which enables the removal of the solids. In this application, the controller used is XP8331CX6 WinC pack. Several ion modules work with the pack to monitor water quality, control water flow, and control the equipment used in the coagulation tank to facilitate water flow into different sedimentation tanks. On the left, we have water quality monitoring. The sensor data indicating water quality are sent through the ion modules to WinCE pack. The pack will exchange data and perform calculations. Once anomalies are flagged, the data will be sent to the PC for staff to take actions immediately. In the middle, we have water flow monitoring and control. The IO module connects to valve control modules and regularly returns data to the controller. If abnormal valve behaviors or water flows are detected, the data will be sent to the PC to notify the staff. On the right, we have coagulation tank control. When one sedimentation tank is almost filled up, the pack will control the equipment and channel the water into the next sedimentation tank. Besides, the data are transmitted to the Indusol SCADA software installed in the PC for data visualization and analysis. Then, the water flows to the city for domestic water use. Floods rent us the second most widespread natural disaster on the Earth. Since climate change worsens flood events, it is important to take some measures to mitigate urban flooding. In cities, ICB dust solutions have been implemented in drainage system monitoring, underpass safety monitoring, and groundwater consumption monitoring. As flooding in cities can result in loss of life, property damage, and financial loss stemming from business suspension. Governments have started turning their attention to drainage system monitoring. The customer has installed our UA5231M4GE IIoT communication server at several locations. The server collects data on temperature, vibration, and flow of the drainage system. 
subsequently, it sends data to the cloud via a 4G wireless network. This approach enables secure and real-time monitoring of drainage system data, reducing the cost of manual inspections and mitigating potential risk to human lives posed by water-related disasters. Other than drainage system monitoring, accidents often happen in low-lying underpasses and tunnels after downpours as cars and motorcycles get trapped in flooded tunnels. To ensure the safety of road users, ICVDAS Cloud Monitoring Solution is here to help. ICVDAS leakage probe is used to detect the water level in the underpass, and the liquid leak detection module transmits the resistance value to the WISE 5231 edge controller. When the water level exceeds the set threshold value, a warning message will be displayed on the ICANN LED display. At the same time, the boom barrier will be lowered to prohibit the passage of vehicles while activating drainage pumps. The control center's computer is equipped with the ICBDAS IIoT Cloud Management Software, IoT Star, to monitor the water level information on site in real time. IoT Star helps users quickly establish cloud based IoT plus big data applications without the need for programming. The software simplifies system setup through a web-based interface and significantly reduces time for development and also the costs incurred. In addition, we can also install alarm siren modules and ICAM series IP cameras to alert your users making the entire cloud-based monitoring solution more comprehensive. When the underground tunnel is flooded, Wise Edge Controller activates iCam cameras to capture on-site images in real time and transmit them back to the control room. This allows management personnel to receive on-site information promptly and take action as needed. Land subsidence might worsen flood impact. Hence, analyzing the causes of land subsidence and ideating flood prevention and drainage solutions are crucial. We can study the correlation between daily water usage and groundwater level changes by monitoring the electricity and water consumption in specific areas. In this case, we have monitored the groundwater usage in three locations, including a rice paddy, a fish farm, and a beverage factory. This is an architecture that integrates cloud computing. PMC5151 power meter concentrator receives data from power meters and water meters. The XW107 expansion board offers 8-channel DI and 8-channel DO, making the power meter concentrator module more cost-effective. The collect data is then transmitted to the SCADA software and database through a modem via 3G. The data measured by power meters and water meters are stored in the micro SD card in the power meter concentrator. In case of network disconnection, the data will be uploaded to the host after network recovery. Furthermore, 
due to difficulties in cabling and the remote distances between points. Data is transmitted to the control center via 3G. Additionally, the SCADA software on the remote PC enables data collection and system integration, ultimately achieving water usage monitoring. Two more case studies to go, and we are nearing the end of the webinar. Let's see a smart water consumption data acquisition system for the factory. The factory used to rely on manual transcriptions of data obtained from water meters and water pressure gauges. It's time consuming and errors often occurred. Therefore, the customer requested to establish an automated water consumption data acquisition system to reduce the time spent and enhance the accuracy of each data entry. To achieve this goal, the system must meet the following three requirements. The water meters are typically installed on the parameter walls which are some distance away from the factory floor. The signals must be converted first and then sent to the network using MOBUS RTU. Later, the data is transmitted back to the factory floor. The same applies to water pressure gauges. Since water meters and water pressure gauges are scattered all over the parameter walls, basements, and rooftops. The communication modules need to provide efficient data transmission to reduce installation costs. In the end, we chose TMP8 digital input modules to receive post output from water meters, as well as M7000 series analog input modules to receive current signals from water pressure gadgets. The data is then transmitted using MOBUS RTU to a ZigBee converter, which then uses ZigBee wireless communication to transmit the data to MOBUS data concentrator for more efficient data transmission. Finally, the data is sent back to the control center's Aviva H software using MOBUS TCP. This approach allows the customer to remotely monitor water consumption and pressure in various places through data visualization. Achieving precise data collection and real-time monitoring of water usage. It also enables early detection of water leakage issues for water savings. Besides, this system lessens the burden of staff carrying out manual inspections and transcriptions. Another iconic reference is the wastewater treatment system. Wastewater treatment systems and plants play a crucial role in water resource management. If industrial wastewater and domestic sewage are discharged in large quantities into rivers or the sea, it can lead to pollution, indirectly affecting the domestic water supply and incurring huge costs which are used to remediate contaminated sites. The system is huge. The domestic sewage is first sent to the lift stations and then to pump stations and finally to wastewater treatment plants. Since sewage systems typically employ a gravity flow design to conserve energy, when downstream pipelines are at a higher elevation than the upstream ones, Leaf stations are required to keep water flowing to the treatment plant. In this case, ICP dust products are used to monitor five lift stations. 
The lift station consists of a weight well equipped with a screen to filter out larger debris, and pumps, motors, and several control systems. Five lift stations are all equipped with one WPA441 WingCE 5.0 pack each, and several pack I/O modules to receive data from measuring gadgets used for water level and pressure measurement, and pump monitoring. The pack then controls the pump, valves, and motors to ensure smooth operation of lift stations. As WP8441 mentioned earlier, is an end-of-life product. We recommend replacing it with WP8428 CE7 wing graph pack. In contrast to WP8441, which requires a complex communication for data exchange between other packs, the wing graph PLC allows you to exchange data by simply setting up the public of local variables on WinGraph, and this allows other packs to read or write them. I will close with a summary. ICP DAS products and solutions are implemented in various water resource management applications. To adapt to the shifting climate, we elevate the impacts of flooding. We help to control flooding at dams and rivers, which ensures the safety of staff, residents, and visitors nearby. We also help to ensure the quality of domestic water supply to provide clean drinking water and reduce flood risk in urban and rural areas. The safety of road users in the underpass is guaranteed, and land subsidence is halted to protect infrastructure, property, and human lives. We achieve efficient plant operation and water savings with a smart water consumption data acquisition system. Last but not least, we prevent water pollution and establish a sustainable water cycle. Together, ICB does takes a further step towards ESG sustainable development. Our product lines for water resource management are holistic. From sensors and cameras, IO modules and alarm devices, packs or edge controllers, to panel products such as touch monitors and LED displays. We offer customized, reliable, and industry-proven products and solutions to you. And I hope today's case studies give you some inspiring aspects. We hope to see you next time. Don't forget to scan the QR code and complete the questionnaire. We will send you this PPT file afterward. Thanks for watching. Now, I will invite Kevin from the Product Management Department for a real-time QA session.